we're working on roundabouts, approaching roundabouts to turn right. Welcome back to part two, which is on roundabouts, understanding them for beginners. And we're going to be doing right turns on roundabouts today. So part one was all about doing left turns. So what you should be saying to yourself is don't just do one or two left turns and think you've mastered it. Spend a good hour or so, repeat, 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 repeat. So that you get used to it and you and you fine tune the approach, fine tune the gears and 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 get used to what can go wrong because sometimes people will go in the wrong gear. So we're going to do right turns now and the same sort of thing again. Once we're doing right turns, we're going to repeat, repeat, repeat. And once we've got the hang of that, you can mix them up, left turns, right turns. So let's get going. So we'll just have a quick look round. And we're going to be doing um, left out of it to start with. And then we'll do some right turns. And the roundabouts we're doing, they're just standard roundabouts, mainly four exits on them. So there's nothing too complicated. I'm not trying to do complicated roundabouts to start with because at the end of the day, it's about learning something for the first time on roundabouts. So there's your roundabout sign. And remember, from last time, that's your prompt to do stuff. So as we pass that roundabout, we're gonna check in our centre mirror, but this time, the right mirror. See what's inside of you, because it could be someone trying to overtake you for all you know. And we're slowing down from fourth gear to second gear before the bend again. So we're back to second gear and you're closer to the curb on the right this time. So you've got to be careful. And we're slowing down and there's a car coming through. So I'm slowing down and carrying on going. I'm in the right lane now, remember? There's your first exit. And it's quite tricky being next to the right, right curb. Check my mirrors to the left, signal to come off and come across to the left lane. That's what you've got to remember. I'm in the, I want to, Enter in the left lane when they come off the roundabout, if I can that is, and that's what you're checking your mirrors for. If you're worried someone's next to the car and trying to undertake you, then you'll have to go in the right lane and then come into the left lane when you can, which is uh, something you want to practice with your instructor. So we're just going to be doing a right turn at the next roundabout, so we need to change the lanes to do this. And we can see there's a white car in the distance in our right lane. Check our mirrors, signal in, little shoulder check. And we're slowing down now. We've done our mirror signals already. We're slowing down for second gear, remember. We're not going to approach it too fast. And we're looking, there's a car on the roundabout, possibly coming around, there's a red. So yeah, it's a little bit busier. And we're slowing down for first gear. I'm using a bit of gas and clutch to control it. And it's definitely clear now. And I'm entering, and this is the point, straight to second gear at this point. Don't kind of hang around in first. You pull off nice. Checking them mirrors looking what's going on, signalling to come across to the left lane. Back to third gear if you can. If not, do it after the bend. And just build that speed up. And the same thing again, we're gonna be doing a right turn again. So I'm hoping to helping you again, these videos. And like I say, if you're new to the channel, click on that subscribe. So we're gonna be going right, because we've got two lanes, we're gonna do it slightly earlier. Centre mirror right, little shoulder, signal. That white car's behind me copying me at the moment, or it's come back in. Well, it's gotta be a taxi, because if they're trying to overtake you when you're slowing down, they're a bit silly, you know, doing that. And I'm slowing down for second gear. Yeah, it's a taxi. <laughs> and I'm in the right lane going round. Remember, first exit's there, second exit's in front of me, and I'm planning to come off. So I'm checking my centre mirror left and signalling to come off the roundabout. And it's only one lane, get around that bend, back to third gear, straighten up. The car should cancel its own signal. If it doesn't, that's the time to cancel. Don't worry about the signal until you're off the roundabout. Don't try to knock it off, because it'll distract you otherwise. So we're following the road to the roundabout again. I'm in fourth gear approaching, and there's a sign, centre mirror, right mirror, and I'm repeating, repeat all the time. Slowing down for second gear, it's a single lane on the approach, Slowing down for that second gear now. There's my second gear selected before the bend, remember. Don't do it on the bend. And I've got the curb on the right. Now be careful, that curb on the right on the approach is quite dangerous. If you're not keeping an eye on it, you're gonna clip it and it'll damage your wheel. And the curb on the island on your right, you've also got to do the same thing. You've got to watch out for them because they'll clip you, they'll clip your, your tires and give you a punch up. So we're carrying on going. Gonna repeat, repeat, repeat again. 
and you've got to keep remembering this. You can't just grasp roundabout in 10 minutes. You've got to repeat, repeat, repeat. When I'm teaching people to, to do roundabouts for the first time, we're going to spend a, a good 45 minutes doing left turns be, until I'm satisfied that they can do it on their own. And then we'll go on to right turns. So we're going to go right at the roundabout, centre mirror, right, signal in. And remember, get into good habits of checking your mirrors in pairs. Slowing down for second gear, before the bend, lift and clutch slowly. There's my lane, use all the lane. Remember, don't hug the, don't hug the curb. Check in, and it's definitely clear, and I'm entering. And I'm entering second gear, doing about 18 miles an hour. Don't have to go super fast, because at that curb on the island, you're not used to that being next to you. And it can throw you. You know, if you if you're hugging the, the, the island too much, you're gonna clip it. And you'll get your instructor saying to you, get away from the curb. So we're just gonna do a couple of more right turns. Hopefully by then you'll get the idea of repeat, repeat, get used to it. So we can see the car pulling across us, we're looking in our mirrors, because it's good good sense to check your mirrors regular, you know, see what's going on. And we're gonna go right, so it's a bit more work changing the lanes to do it. So centre mirror right. Signaling, I've done a little shoulder check, make sure there's nothing in the blind spot then. Because you can see in the, in the in the recording there's nothing that I couldn't see because the mirror just points to the behind me. And I'm slowing down for second, and there's a bit of traffic, but there's a gap there, so I'm gonna carry on going. And so if it's a safe gap, you're fine. Don't take a risky small gap because it's dangerous. Checking my mirrors, signaling, and there's a car here in a rush on my left, but I'm alright. If I was taking my time a bit too slow, you might try and chance it going past me on the left. That's what you've got to watch out for. Some people get a bit carried away and they, they forget about the rules. And I'm using fifth gear at this point, getting to about 50 miles an hour. I'm going to go right again. So I'm going to just check what's going on. There's no rush to get out, not a lot of traffic. Checking, signalling, and using my brakes for the hill, bringing that speed down from fifth to second so I'm gonna skip a few gears that I'm doing this I'm checking what's going on and I'm slowing down for the traffic on the right because there's a couple of cars coming through the first gear gas fighting point and I remember I pulled off nice second gear before you start turning around the roundabout checking my mirrors signaling and then coming off and it's repeat 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 all the time and all, all you're doing is getting used to the routine of approach speed, getting your speed down. So the routine is exactly the same. You check your mirrors, you do your signals, you slow yourself down, you change your gears. And while you're doing that, you're checking what's going on. You're checking the traffic ahead of you, checking the traffic on the roundabout. I'm gonna go right, centre mirror, right, signalling, slowing myself down, that second gear, second gear selected now, lift the clutch slowly, there's no rush. If you lift off the clutch quickly, it's gonna judder. Check in, final check. I'm in the right lane, so don't kind of go right next to the curb, but don't kind of drift either. Checking my mirrors, signaling, and heading straight for that exit at that point. Building my speed up, don't worry about the signal, back to third gear, straighten myself up, check, and cancel. I'm gonna be going left, it's this little slip road again. Checking my mirrors, signaling, letting that can know, and slowing down on this little mini slip road. Check in, nothing's coming in. And then we're gonna pull over again, checking my mirrors, signal in, because there's cars around. And remember, I'm close to a junction behind me, so I'm just gonna slow myself down. And then secure the car. And then once you secure the car, you know you're done then. So remember, when you're, when you're um, doing the right turns, don't feel like you, you've got to rush around that roundabout because right turns are a little bit more trickier. You're next to that right curb on the island and if you go too close, you're going to clip it. So remember on the approach, the same routines as you do left ones, which is going to be checking my mirrors, but this time it's centre mirror, right mirror, slowing myself down, changing that gear, checking what's going on and giving way to the right if I need to. If, if, if I can see a safe big gap, then I'm going to carry on going with the flow. If I'm not, I'm slowing down to give way at the giveaway line. Okay, hope the videos help you. If it has, fantastic, and um, watch out for the next one on roundabouts.